We've got the sales table in here, but sometimes in your real life, you've got many data sources that you want to combine uh, by using uh, pivot tables or any elements. Uh, I'm inserting right now a pivot table, but right after I'm creating a site table where I will store for specific years the target values. For example, for the year 2011, 2012, 2013 and 2014, we've got the following targets, 7 million, 8 million, 9 million and 10 million. And uh, we know we've got uh, the uh, sales values calculated inside the pivot table. And right now we want to combine those two words. The best solution would be to create a data model inside the power pivot add-in and combine those two words inside the uh, data model in, inside a single pivot table. But in here we are trying to get most out of the standard capabilities of pivot tables. That is why we come back right now to the get pivot data formula. Instead of using the year as a static value in here, we can once again connect ourselves to the target table and just copy down the formula to calculate the sales. Then we can, of course, calculate the percentage realization of a target by taking the sales and dividing it uh, by the target value. Right now we are, of course, outside of a, a pivot uh, table, but still we deliver the uh, scenario that uh, works and takes into account the target value. The problem is that whenever we want to filter the data, because we've got the targets not only for the years, but maybe also for regions, then this uh, will produce uh, more and more problems in the future. That is why I really encourage you to have a look in the Power Pivot course.